The Cedarburg municipality in the Western Cape has become the first hung council in the country where parties have entered into a coalition agreement. The DA Freedom Front Plus and uh, Cedarburg First Residents Association entered a deal with the DA uh, Federal Council Chairperson Helen Zilla announcing it on her social media. Helen Zilla joins me now. Very good afternoon to you, Ms. Zilla. Thanks indeed for your time. So I guess this is somewhat a gain for the Democratic Alliance. This municipality previously governed by the ANC... Yes, indeed. It's good that we are now in a coalition there, and I hope it works very well. Yeah. But uh, let's get into it. I mean, already there seems to be a bit of drama already. Friday's inaugural council sitting did not go ahead. I understand ANC council is not happy. How does one ensure that this kind of chaos does not persist and service delivery does go ahead? Well, one can't guarantee it. Uh, the voters gave us coalition governments. Uh, no single party got a majority in Cedarburg, and the voters decided that's what they wanted. And so we can't guarantee absolutely stable government in a coalition. No party to a coalition can. We can do our very best as we will try, but the ANC always seeks to disrupt when they're not in power. We know that. Mm. And uh, there had been threats uh, to take uh, the sitting or, or, or to rather uh, uh, get the process stopped uh, through uh, court proceedings. Uh, now, um, when is the next sitting expected? And, I mean, how does this then continue? What can one expect? Because uh, the ANC councillors seem to be unhappy and uh, they've already threatened, uh, they're already threatened to, to, to go to court over the first sitting if it does go ahead. It was then postponed and uh, it, it certainly it looks like uh, there will be a bit of um, um, it, it's not really going to sit well with them if you if you have another sitting that is coming up well government has to have meetings a council has to meet mm. and if a party that lost an election doesn't want the council to meet that's a slight problem as you can imagine and of course what I'm saying is an understatement you can't stop a council from meeting indefinitely because you didn't win it's very simple Mm. But what, what guarantees are there, Mozilla, then, if at all, uh, that this won't happen again? Because I think ultimately, I guess, uh, you know, the residents of that particular area exercised their right in the way that they did because they were clearly unhappy with something. So um, you have now this uh, a coalition that is, has, has been formed and people simply want services. It, they cannot continue to be political bickering that is taking place at the expense of service delivery in that area. Well, I can only speak for the DA, Griselda, and the DA isn't bickering with anybody. We got out of the blocks very early. We put together a coalition with the CE, the Cedarburg Easter, as they know, and with the Freedom Front Plus. We put together a stable coalition. We don't want to bicker with anyone. We want to get on with service delivery. Mm. So what's the deal? Who gets what? Well, as we all know, Cedarburg Easter gets the mayor. The DA gets the speaker and the Freedom Front Plus gets the deputy mayor. But the point is not about posts. When you say who gets what, I presume that's what you're talking about. Yeah. The purpose is to get good local government going, stable local government going, and that is what we're trying to achieve. Mm. If you look at what the concerns were of uh, residents in that particular area, what is this uh, coalition uh, 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 promising the people of that particular area? Well, we can only promise what the Constitution says is local government's job. Purifying water and reticulating it, doing refuse removal, sanitation, filling potholes, fixing street lights, all the basics that make a town or a city work. Mm -hmm. And that is what the remit is of local government. And that is the only thing we promised the people and we'd like to get on and do it. Uh, just very quickly, Ms. Zilla, we're running out of time. The IEC is also set to, to appear before Parliament. Uh, I know that you've said that some aspects of uh, the 2021 election were mismanaged. Which aspects? Well, there were many aspects, starting with registration. Many people registered and the IEC system wasn't working properly. So having registered when they got to the polls, they couldn't vote because their names were not on the voters' roll. The second issue was that they changed the zip zip machines to a new system, which worked very, very slowly. And while at some voting stations they did adjust the system 
to accommodate the length of the queues. At many others, they did not, and people could not get to vote. And so I can continue. We've put out a call for people to relay their experiences to us mm. so that we can be sure to call the IEC to account and explain why they couldn't run a proper election. DA Federal Council Chair Helen Ziller, thank you very much for joining us on the programme this afternoon. We do appreciate your time.